Hello, just a really quick video. So if you're working on tremolos and you like them to be facing down, stems down, uh, here's what you'll need to do. You'll need to have this palette, the advanced tool palette opened up. And you're going to go to beam angle tool. Go ahead and click that. Find the tremolo that you'll want. You'll have these handles and you'll want to drag these down. Then what you'll want to do is, because the notes are backwards, you'll want to go to the Reverse Stem Tool. Click that. It'll give you two handles. you want to click the top two handles. And then you can go back to the Beam Angle Tool and adjust as you'd like. You can also, for nudging, you can also use the arrow keys, the up arrow key, to nudge up and down as well. Make sure you're selecting the left hand handlebar right here. If you do the right hand, it'll adjust the angle. So make sure you're doing the, the left one. That's how you do it. If that's all you need, great. Uh, if you're a little bit new to tremolos, I'm gonna extend just a skosh more on how to actually do these tremolos properly. So a tremolo, if you haven't done it before, you'll go ahead and put down two notes I'm in 2-4, so two notes that you'll want to be tremoloing between. Selection tool, highlight those two notes, go up to Plugin, go down to TG Tools, and then go to Easy Tremolos. Here you'll have this box that pops up. It'll tell you, it'll ask you the number of beams you'd like. If you want it to be, for example, 16th notes or 8th notes, you'd Put a one in there, and those will be eighth notes. You have sixteenth notes. It'll be two beams, and then your normal tremolos would be three. Uh, so that's how you create it, and it will always create it with stems going up, which is not what you always want. However, this is how you fix it. So I hope that helps. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you want to see more content, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like if this helped, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.